What's going on, guys? I'm Jada Black. Shout out to everybody that's tuning in. I want to talk about this Joe Budden, whatever it is. Apparently, he was on his show. There's a clip that's going viral where he says that he's bi and that he likes men and women, right? Now, there are people out there that think that he is joking, that he's trolling because he knew it would go viral. As you can see here. He even said, spread the word in the video clip. Now, his body language didn't say trolling. I believe they were having a discussion on the show about the alphabet community. And we don't really know. Well, I don't know the complete context as of yet. I'm not here to say whether I believe he's bi or not. I'm just here to speak on Joe Budden in this situation because it's very clear to me that Joe Budden is uh somebody that's liked and then not like there's a segment of people that love to go off on joe budden and they're using this and joe budden knows this uh against him but maybe he doesn't see it that way you know you have azalea banks who apparently was cool with joe budden once she's talking about how he was gonna be in the closet until 2022 and how he got in front of it. I don't know if somebody was threatening to expose him. Was she threatening to expose him? But she basically was like, you're going to be go. You're going to go back in the closet and not on her watch. You're not going to come out in 2021. Now, again, people are saying that Joe Budden is trolling. But do you really believe that? Do we do we really even know? Do we care? Let me tell you something right now. I don't care who these people are have relations with i don't care who they're dating i don't care who they sleep with it matters not to me i do not care who these celebrities deal with in their personal life as long as they are providing entertainment for me that's the only thing i care about i don't care about your political leanings i don't care about how you feel about certain aspects of society that i really don't care for you to tell me like if I wanted to know that I go to the experts. So who these celebrities date matters not to me. I know he's in the hip hop community and he's known for his commentary on hip hop. I saw I saw a tweet where this person was talking about how it's a good thing for representation that Joe Button has come out. But we all could be getting work. No, y'all could be getting work. But let's see what's going on here. It's not a, and this according to Hip Hop DX, it's not unusual for Joe Budden to trend on Twitter whether he's beefing with former Joe Budden podcast co host Rory and Maul or just saying something outrageous. But Twitter is struggling to wrap its correct collective heads around Joe Budden's latest trend worthy moment. On Thursday, a clip of Budden's co host co hosting episode 485, Y'all Must Be New Here, of his popular podcast started making the rounds in which he blatantly states he's attracted to both women and men he says i'm bi he says matter of factly how do i spread this news how do i spread the word listen i like guys and girls spread the word i'm down <laughs> and i'm telling you right now man i'm by fuck okay it's okay now you got okay you got okay how do i spread this news how do I spread the word? I think you got to call the CEO. Yo, yeah, you listen. Gotta, you got to make sure it's okay. I like guys and girls. Spread the word. I'm down. Remember, this was the I've first time he would. Re you heard it from Joe Budden, man. <laughs> Is Joe Budden trolling or not? Look at his body language. Look at what he's saying. Now, I want all of you to actually go and listen to the podcast. Because you got the fat checkers in the comment section that's going to tell Well, you need to watch the home show. That's why I'm not jumping to conclusions and saying, yep, he, he he's by. I'm looking at this as somebody who has seen Joe Button trend for a lot of different things. I've known Joe Button to say crazy things because he knows it's going to bring him attention. Attention means viewership. 
you can imagine what his, the numbers on his next podcast is going to be if he has like a discussion about this and he knows this joe button is a businessman but other people are, are waving their rainbow flags prematurely or it could be maybe he this is this is him coming out maybe this is his coming out podcast anything he may need to rename it but i still don't care of course it didn't take long for joe budden's name to pop up all over twitter after all budden has always been romantically linked to women and by the way joe budden has always been romantically linked to very attractive women that's why joe budden was able to garner the amount of attention this was before he had the podcast publicly because of the women that he was always you know with connected to you know the slaughterhouse alum pro uh proposed to a video vixen a loving hip-hop new york personality since Santana in 2018 after having a son together he also dated kaylin garcia yaris sanchez esther baxter tahiri jose gloria velez and christina million that's a heck of a roster man that's a heck of a team but anyone familiar with the internet shenanigans had to have known Budden wasn't actually talking about himself. The clip was part of a longer conversation about the babies rolling loud, Miami controversy, and the alphabet community's alleged forgiveness over his perceived comments. See, this is why I'm not one of these people that's running a Twitter like, oh my God, he's he's gay, he's bi. He, he, he said he likes women and, and see, that that's why, again, a lot of you people have no common sense you don't understand when somebody is trolling you, when somebody is working you, you see something and you run with it. I'm looking at all these posts, man, and these people are making a complete fool of themselves. They're making a fool of themselves. See, as Joe Budden and co-host Ice, Ish and Ice were discussing, discussing the topic around the 53 minute mark, the show's namesake says, I like boys and girls promoting someone who's isolated the clip and threw it on the internet playing into the misconception button later tweeted ah i see the word got out continue to spread the word please i just want to understand you're being worked this is why i want all of you to actually go and check out the podcast okay and really understand that he was having a discussion about the alphabet community and he was talking about certain aspects of certain people who could be in both, you know, they could be here and they could be there. They could be both. They could be by, they could not be by. Uh, let's see. Like Joe Budden, his co-host were saying the baby recently agreed to a massive tour, a massive tour backed by Rolling Loud, the same festival that inadvertently led to his alleged cancellation. As for the alphabet community, one of the organizations the baby allegedly met with to educate himself on the gay community. The relationship unleashed denied they had forgiven him. But you met with him, though. On Tuesday, relationship unleashed CEO Gwendolyn D. Clemens refuted TMZ's original story, claiming that the site grossly misquoted the answer she gave in the email. No, you got called out because you met with the baby and you probably were starstruck. And you probably told him that there was, you know, you probably, when, when you made comments about the meeting, you made it seem like you forgave him. That's why I tell y'all, man, this community is, don't know what they want. Do you want to be normal or do you want to be treated like a, a special group? A statement published by the Unleashed Voice magazine, Clemens wrote 90% information posted on the TMZ website about a relationship Unleashed shared via emails completely false and this article has potential to cause irreparable harm to the organization well you've already done that gwendolyn you see gwendolyn wanted to she she wanted to meet the baby she wanted to meet somebody famous then she went bragging to tmz and tmz wrote the story i don't think tmz lied on you at all i think you got called out by the same group of people who want to control what other people think other people think about them that's what happened. Whatever the case, Twitter ran with the clip and all kinds of jokes at Budden's expense. Check out some of the best reactions here. Uh, yeah, people are going in. But again, that has 
really nothing to do with me. I'm not here to judge. I don't care if he's batting for what team because I know that the guy was trolling. He was working a lot of y'all, and you fell for it. Y'all fell for this guy's trolling. This guy's a businessman. He understands social media better than anybody. He's utilized it for a lot of years. Well, it's a lot of years, but he's utilized it for a long time. And it seems that a segment of you want Joe Budden to be gay so badly because you're stuck in a closet. <laughs> That's what it seemed like to me. People say a lot of outrageous stuff. I'm going to go look for the source material before I jump to a conclusion, but we know Twitter is a cesspool and those people just say whatever comes to mind. They don't really think, right? They just say whatever's going on and you don't take the time uh, to really understand whether it's truth there or whether it's BS. Look at this tweet. Joe Budden saying anything to come back relevant. They're being worked and they don't even know it. But that's just my take on it, man. Let me know what y'all think, man. Make sure you like the video and share it. Also, follow me on Facebook, Twitter, and Instagram. Subscribe to the Patreon. Subscribe to the other channels as well. I'll see you later.